So, a bit of an update after looting some of these things in town. Um, I don't know why the game just reset all my chests, but they have the exact same stuff that I previously found in them. Like this pile, I just looted it, but I left the book in there. Like her diary's back in there. Uh, <laughs> so, it's kind of like now I don't know which ones I haven't checked for map pieces and to be honest that's kind of annoying I don't know how dedicated dedicated I am to these map pieces anymore because of this <laughs> well we'll see I guess I just missed this book but, um, here's the Tome of Artifacts, and I feel like I have read it before. Like, a long, long time ago. If I haven't, then, oh well, here's the book. You can read it yourself. <laughs> Alright, so I've got notices to return to Patty. You cannot hide your amazement. Truly, your facade is a weak one, my liege. But still, I appreciate the effort. But what is an art gallery without an artist? The painter Benwick Atham from the village showed interest, so I invited him to join us here. You will find him in the gallery, searching for inspiration. Alright, what next? There's one last thing to build. Your keep is tall, but, yes, not tall enough. My dream has shown me a tower so tall and so majestic that ships will see it from miles around. You could not be overlooked. For this, I will need three bundles of beach stone, four bundles of bear hide. Okay, once again, I've had Zephwin provide me with locations on your map where you might find the materials. I can't wait to get started on this project. Goodbye. Wait, I don't have enough stuff? Oh, uh, not enough bear hide! Really? Alright. Good. Some monsters chased me away from that shipwreck before I could- It's all bagged up. You just need to retrieve it. Huh? Where? You'll have to retrieve the loot I gathered from the wreck. Some beast surprise. Beware. I said where, not how. <laughs> stupid. Stupid, stupid man. Come on. Alright. So, text. Oh, this translation was a fun read. <gasps> I once dated a peregrine, but probably not the same person. This book is hundreds of years old. Oh my god. Let me know when you find something else for me to translate. I will need a day to translate this. Shh. Check back tomorrow. See you. She's actually making books. I don't know what I expected, but I didn't expect an actual book. Holy crud. Holy crud! These are long books. Whoa! Okay, the bashful peregrine. Hear ye this tale of young peregrine, the apprentice, and how oft times good things ensued through hard, diligent work. They can likewise come from being at the wrong place at the right time. Since he was a small boy, Peregrine admired the mages of the Order of Feral, and desired nothing in the world more than to join them. So it was, once he came of age, that he apprenticed to Torin Frostbreaker. After a few lessons, Peregrine's mentor put a box before him and challenged him to open it. Peregrine puzzled over the plain-looking box. Its innocence appearance betrayed no clue to the wars that sealed it, so he tried every counter ward he knew. After a time, Torin Frostbreaker asked, Are you finished? I am, Peregrine said. And have you any mana reserve left, or did you spend it all on this most tricky box? I have none left, my master, the apprentice replied. Then I'm a Bargus to come upon you, and you are dead, because you failed to think. Sometimes a box is just a box, and precious magic is better saved for the monster in the darkness. I hope the rest of your training is not as trying as this. In his second week, Frostbreaker led Peregrine to a nearby cave and bid him enter it. Not wishing to repeat the mistake of the box, Peregrine sim decided to simply walk into the cave. He was thrown back with great violence, landing several yards away and coughing blood. 
foolish boy. I bring you to a warded cave, and you stroll into it without even the slightest use of magic. It is as if you grow worse with time rather than better. Now let's remove whatever curse your haste has given you. In his third week, Peregrine began to despair of ever becoming a mage, but was obliged to accompany Torin to a nearby healer's cottage. Torin retired to the master healer's chambers, and Peregrine was left alone with one of her assistants. The assistant was quite beautiful and would smile warmly at Peregrine whenever he dared look upon her. She approached the young apprentice, touched him gently, and slowly brought his, her face to his as if to deliver a kiss. Peregrine, as bashful as he was young, flushed and fled the healer's cottage. After a few hours, the young man began to wonder after his master. When he made to return to the cottage, he found the door warded. For this he was prepared, and he dispelled it with ease. If only Master Frostbreaker could have seen that, he thought. He was less prepared for what lay beyond the door. His master, naked and magically chained to the wall, and the healer and her assistant, naked as well, and asleep at his feet. "'Come, help me, boy,' barked Torin. "'These are not healers at all, but witches. "'They poisoned me and cast wards to bind me to this wall. "'As I can tolerate most poisons, "'I remained alert enough to cast a sleep spell upon them. "'Now free me!' "'These wards were of a more difficult sort, "'but Peregrine was able to dispel them as well. "'His master was pleased. "'Master, how did the witches manage to poison you? "'Suffice to say, a healer's kiss is not likely not what you think it to be. "'We shall never speak of this again.' Peregrine was too embarrassed to respond, and proceeded his master out of the cottage. Torin eyed his apprentice warily, mistaking the boy's bashfulness for cunning. I suppose you have passed enough tests. When we get back to Feral, I will personally see that you are made mage by Fortnite's End. And thus did the bashful Peregrine become the youngest Feroli mage Evany could remember. <laughs> Interesting. Huh. Well... If all of these books end up being unique stories like that, um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do because I, I don't want to spend like whole videos reading because, uh, with all the books that I have and the, with the lengths of that story, I'm pretty sure it would take me a really long time. Um, where is this? Where's this abandoned loop? Over here. Oh, interesting. Well, at least it's close by to something I can fast travel to. Everything's back, everything's back. Oh my god. Wow! Oh, look at the bears fighting the bugs. That's cute. Oh. I'm like, <laughs> I'm watching the bears fight, instead of watching my own fight. Oh. Ow. Oh my god. Alright. I've had enough. This is an annoying fight. <laughs> oh, with bears on me and the freaking thrash. Great. That was so worth it. It's kind of weird though that I only have two pieces of each map. So I'm wondering... Good to see you. If that was kind of planned. Ah, thanks for returning my bag. I wasn't expecting to be surprised by those beasts. I can go searching again whenever you wish. Uh -huh. These are the reasons. If any of them seem worthwhile, let me know. If we're lucky, we'll see. Be careful. Okay. Well, we're supposed to be finding more bear... bear hide. Wherever that is. Oh, all over the place. Okay. 
Well, I guess I'll go do that. You know, I'm starting to wonder if the reason I only have two pieces of each map and I require four is because the game is supposed to reset the chests and I'm supposed to pick up the same two pieces again in the same chests. That's what I'm wondering at this point. Anyways, I gotta return to all these people again, so this here we go. This tower is a challenge, but I've never had so yeah, much okay. fun. I'm impressed. Not everyone can find such value in simple salvage, but you've managed to get everything we need. That's I me. never doubted you. You shouldn't. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. Good to see. You. I salvaged what I could from the ship. I'm ready to go out again whenever you want. All right. I'm not going to bother the with recent showing of them seem what he gives me anymore. Let me know. Be, be careful. Not that interesting. But, Miss Lady over here, she does have a new book for us. Oh, translating ancient texts is a breeze for me. Silly men always think they're so smart. The moral? Be careful what you bargain for. Uh, let me know when you have another one for me to look at. This is so <laughs> Just when I thought things were getting boring. It shouldn't take me more than a day to trans- Take care. I really wonder if all of these are going to be unique stories, because if so, that's pretty crazy. What did she just give me? It was a green book. The Ringmaker. Alright, there was once a ring ringmaker of Glimwood named Uliam Toll. Though skilled at the making of fine jewelry, he lacked knowledge of the art of spellbinding. Men from around the world had always come to Toll's shop to buy the prettiest rings to please their wives and lovers, but business had been poor of late. Jeweled rings had come into fashion, and his clients went elsewhere for their trinkets of love. William knew little of spellbinding, but decided he had little choice but to follow fashion wherever it led. He began with a small red he began with small red and blue gems, which, as any spellbinding novice knows, are the most benign of jewels. Flush with with success, he sought more exotic gems, and one day found himself in possession of a stock of green jewels. Ignorant to their ill effect on the wearer, William mounted them into rings. The effect, however, was small. A few were sickened, fewer still, seriously. When, however, he chose to add striking purple shards to his designs, the wearers were not stricken ill, they died. It took little time to guess at the cause of these deaths, and an armed party soon arrived to confront the ringmaker. William fell to his knees and swore that his rings were not to blame, so the leaders of his own village had him locked away for safekeeping until the charges could be proven. A mage arrived to inspect the ring, and there was no doubt in his learned mind. The town warden condemned the ringmaker to death by means of his victim's choosing, as was custom. The husbands of the dead women selected one of William's own rings as the instrument of execution, and he died painfully and loudly within days. Let the folly of William and his desire for glory and profit serve as lesson to those who would trifle with the magic of gems. Hmm. Alright, so I'm supposed to go back to Patty, and a um, couple of things. The lady who translates stuff for me, she doesn't seem to always give me unique books. She gave me the Ringmaker again, so that's not unique. Um, also, Zephwin found a survivor who's right here. He found a survivor who can apparently give me training for something. You must be the master of the keep. Yes. Your scout, Zephwin. He found me on the coast. Hopefully, I can be of some use here. I do offer training. What do you train? Why doesn't it tell me what he changed? <laughs> okay. To be honest with you, I was part of a pirate ship. Really? We would steal cargo from other ships, and it was my job to hide it. You wouldn't believe the places you can fit goods into on a ship. Are you training for sneaking? We would sometimes make port there. It's a Varani trading town. We don't much care for outsiders there. We had just scored a huge load of cargo when we sprung a leak. I think we were weighted down too much. We had to abandon ship. 
We made it to this island, but my mates, they turned into those fair Gorta. Fortunately, I got away before they could get me. We Varani like to sail, although not as much as the Deverga. The closest Varani city to here is Fort Olghorn. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm Varani too. What do you think, my liege? Nothing has ever reached so high to the heavens. I've sent for my Ronwin, my friend in Cape Solace. She is willing to serve the keep as your envoy to foreign lands. That little bitch? If you require her services, she can be found in the embassy. Huh. My liege, now that your throne room is prepared, you have an opportunity to truly help your people. We will let it be known that whenever you sit upon your throne, you will hear petitions from anyone who comes before you. Oh, that's interesting. You may render judgment or offer help as you see fit, and your people will show their gratitude. Oh, this is cool. I want to do it now. <laughs> Let's do it. I have been looking for a friend of mine who was also aboard our ship when we wrecked. I believe she could have survived the crash, but I can't find her. Her name is Sister Siana. Will you find her for me? Where do you think she is? All I know is the front of the ship broke off as we approached the island and drifted west. All right, I'll help you. Oh, think Lyria. So do I get I more the side quests from this? Ship floating to the western part of the island. Pray Sister Siana has found her way safely ashore. Wait, that's it? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's cool. So new little quests. Interesting. My liege. My liege. Diplomacy. I'm humbled to serve Graveheart hmm. Keep as its envoy to the world. Thank you for honoring me so. Without further ado, let's begin. By your command, I can embark on diplomatic missions to our closest neighbors across the sea. Shall we begin? Yeah, what can you do? With friendly neighbors, I can offer tribute, propose trade, collect gifts, or forge an alliance. With hostile powers, I can declare war, stage raids of goods, or collect spoils of war. I am skilled at espionage as well. You may entrust me to perform all manner of clandestine tasks. Whoa. She talks as if this little island is like a country of its own. Alright, where can you go? Our three closest neighbors are... The Deverga of the Obsidian Isles to the northwest. The Varani of Dregshaw to the southeast, and the Losalfar of the Icebrine Coast to the southwest. You may dispatch me to their capital cities, Ember Deep, Fort Olghorn, or Renlock. Once you've given me my mission, I will depart immediately to deliver whatever message or gesture you see fit. I will be away for as long as it takes to complete my mission. Upon my return, I shall await you here to report the result. With whom should we engage in diplomacy? Well, we're definitely going to be on good side with the Varani because I am Varani. The Varani are a loose collection of traders. Beyond commerce, Fort Olghorn would just as well have nothing to do with the rest of the world. What kind of diplomatic mission would you like me to conduct with them? Trade. How big a trade would you like me to make? All right, a lot. Excellent. This should improve relations between us. I'll be back tomorrow. Okay. Nice seeing you. Does that cost me 10,000? I'm kind of confused. And there's... so oh, it's upstairs. Hello. Oh, this has changed from a bedroom into a new little area. Oh, look at that pork. 
Piggy piggy. Chicken and apples. Very nice. Benwick. I saw you in town. It's quite a beautiful day. Tell me about your art. Paddy found a bunch of old paintings during his last construction. They're all fairly damaged, but I believe I can restore them using some magical paints. However, I will need you to go kill some monsters for me. Why kill monsters? You see, my magical paint soaks up the essence of beasts when they die. Not only will that make it possible for me to restore the paintings, but the paintings will take on magical properties. What magical paints? A little something given to me by a gnome scholar. They capture the essence of beasts when they're killed nearby. The gnomes said they were still experimental, but they seem to work fine. All right. Okay. This first painting appears to be some kind of cave. It should be interesting to see how it turns out. For this one, you'll need to kill some Mergen and Scabs. Bring the vials of paint back to me once they've changed color. Okay. Bye. <laughs> well then. Another one of those kill... Kill these. And bring it back missions. Record of petitions? Uh, petitions heard before Lord Gravehall. Hereby order of Angsar Solsvard, second lord of Grave yeah, Gravehall, are listed the hearings of petitions. Star Yolf was before first was first before the throne, humbly asking his lordship to dispatch an annoying nest of Isle Flarelin's indigenous pests. The scabs, he claims, have repeatedly overrun his crops and even carried off some of the smaller livestock. His lordship pledged upon the throne to crack their skulls upon mine own knee and drink whatever evil pours forth from within to rid you of their pestilence. The hearings, hearing of petitions, the hearing of petitions was interrupted by the ar arrival of a trio of candidates sent by Ember Dee for his lordship's approval. During the gathering of the small council one month past, Lord Greyfall ordered the gallery illegible with the finest illegible and sent orders to the obsidian isles to find one fit for the task lady gravehall continues to implore his lordship to put the room above the great hall to a more practical use but he was as ever unmoved last before his lordship a self-styled poet recently arrived on the orders of the council in Eberdy. he presented the council's edict that isle verlin be celebrated in flattering verse designed to appeal to the lower and merchant classes to enthrall them into settling upon our new divergen realm lord gravehall had little patience for the soft-handed messenger but granted him hospitality for two months time to scribble whatever gruel his obsidian island patrons desired his lordship further recommends that Emberdy consider burning the ships of these settlers upon their arrival, lest they attempt to return upon s seeing the truth gilded by the poet's stories. All for the business concerned the knight's wedding feast. Hence, Lord Gravehall left these matters in the evil hands of Lady Gravehall. As this business concerns not matters of the realm, they need not be recorded here. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to smash all my own boxes. Alright. Um... So I guess... Can I... Wow, I can jump off of here. That's kind of... crazy. I died? I can't tell if I died or if... Wait... I don't think I died, I think it just loaded me? Because this is a different... Yeah, there's... She's gone, and it didn't save after that, so I didn't die. The game just can't process the fact that these two are separate areas. And me jumping off was too much for it to handle. Okay. Huh. Well, I feel like I'm in a really awkward position with this DLC now, because I'm doing all these quests that make me wait. And, um... I don't know, I don't really know how much more to this DLC there is, but okay, well let's go look for Sister Sienna now.